Hello everyone, welcome to John Listener's second channel. This episode is going to talk about one of the important features in Psychotic Secret Server Discovery. You can easily find unknown and unmanaged privileged account using Discovery. It is the most efficient way to cover all of your privileged account. It also can use automated process to reduce human mistakes. In this lab, we are going to enable it globally and configure settings and then add discovery source. Then we run discovery. After that, we are going to import account into our secret server. We will also use one of our account as service account to show you how we can find our dependencies. This is our topology. We are using Cloud Secret Server and the local distributed engine has been installed on this machine which is connecting to our domain controller. We are using domain 51 seccorp as our test domain. Now let's start it. Let's go to admin menu, discovery. First thing we need to do is enable discovery globally. Click enable discovery. Now we have enabled our discovery features for our psychotic secret server. Click configuration. You can configure discovery interval days and interval hours. We also can configure in rules, extensible discovery, scanners, scan template, command set, domain name index. At this moment, let's keep it simple using default settings. Now we need to configure our discovery sources. Let's create our discovery source. The most common one is Active Directory. Let's give a name. Make sure it's active. And then let me choose one of domain admin account as discovery secret. We don't have to specify our OU, but if you would like to only scanning one OU, you can click here and configure it. Now we have our discovery source configured. You can make a change on the settings. You also can make a change on the scanner settings. After we configured discovery source, we can run discovery now. You can run discovery scan and you can run computer scan. You should be able to see the logs from the discovery logs and the computer scan logs as well. Once you've done run discovery, you can check discovery network view to see the findings. For the local account, we found two local accounts on TSS-DE server. Service account on DC1 and TSS-DE, we do found admin1 as a scheduled task, which is using admin1 as a service account. The scheduled task is a dependency for this account. It's managed and we can check it for those dependencies after we finish checking domain and the cloud account. This is all account founded by psychotic discovery process. As we can see, 
we have administrator account is unmanaged. What we can do, we can easily import it. You can choose secret type, which is your secret template. And we can pick the folder and click next. We can say, I know the password. If you know the password, then just type in current password. And for password changing, we can use current secret credential or you can use privilege account. You can choose admin as our credential to change the password. Then finish. The bulk operation completed. Now we can go back to secret folder to verify this new imported account. This is our new imported account. The heartbeat was failed. That is because the password is different. We also can automate this whole process using the rules. We can easily to set up a rule automatically import a new found account into our secret server. We also can check our service account, admin1, which has dependencies. We found it from discovery process. There are two dependencies on this secret. Now we are going to demonstrate another account for the scheduled task dependency. We have 51sec.corp slash TSS service one account. At this moment, there's no dependencies. I'm going to create a new scheduled task using this service account. This is our TSS-DE distributed engine server. I'm going to create a new task. Let's call it test1. Let's run it daily. It's going to start a program. I'm going to run the command line tool. Let's choose cmd.exe file. Next. Finish. We're going to check the properties. We're going to assign account using TSS service account one. Choose OK. Save the configuration. We can choose run whether user is logged on or not. It might prompt you for the username and password. You're gonna copy the password in and save it. If your password is cracked, you should be able to save this scheduled task. Now we're gonna do discovery again. Ideally, if everything works well, we're going to discover these new dependencies for our TSS Service 1 account. Let's run Discovery Scan, then run Computer Scan. Since my domain is very small, just a couple of accounts, just two computers, so the process is really fast. Can I check service account? Now you can tell there's a new service name found, test1 has been found, and the type is Windows Schedule Task. 
and the secret is fifthrunsec.com TSS service one account. Now, if you look at the dependencies, it's not here yet, but once we import it, it's dependency will automatically show here. Since it shows on manage it, we can import list scheduled task. There's some warning message task progress information is not available, but the list can be discarded if operation completed. So our operation completed. Now we go back to our TSS service one secret. If you look at dependencies, it's automatically imported for your service account. That is how you can use discovery to find out your own managed account and import it into your psychotic secret server. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do.